What is up guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred back again with another trailer reaction review. Today is a very special episode of Trailer Reaction Review because we're not going to just be watching one trailer, we're going to be watching multiple trailers. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Nintendo Switch Nindies Showcase for Spring 2018. And I love this. I love I love the Indie Showcase. The Indie Showcase is basically Nintendo Direct, just with a different name, and they just focus on indie games. So you don't get your super huge Mario and your whack-ass sp Splatoons and arms and none of that shit. You get straight, good, you know, usually fairly priced titles, and it's usually a bunch of games that you, I wouldn't even know about. So let's check these out. See if we get excited for anything. It's not live. This was, I, I guess it was aired live um, earlier, but I, I fucked up on the time. It's only 12 minutes long, so it's, it's, it's a good amount of time for just indie games. I would think that we're gonna get like 12 trailers, like, so let's jump in and check it out. We'll pull this motherfucker up. Rate pending to M. So we're probably gonna see games that are not close. That's gonna come out later 2018. And then we're probably gonna see some gory motherfuckers too. <laughs> Boom. Nintendo's Indies. Nintendo Switch. Oh, just get right to it. Just roll right into it. Hey folks, David. Of course Baker, they don't the publisher do that. And developer relations <laughs> team here at Nintendo of America. What's up, David? It's hard to believe that it was only a year ago. I could sure. I was out here yeah, telling you all I need about to get some Nintendo swag shirt. Launch Nintendo Switch. Now I won't get all wistful on you, but I do want to thank all of our Nindies. Thank you. The content don't get no wistful. Who made this last year one to remember? What started as a community has grown into a family, supported by the shared passion between independent developers their games, and the fans who have embraced them. Okay. And I'm happy to say that the family continues to grow in 2018 and beyond. Okay. So, Show without us further ado, 2018. let's kick things off with the latest addition to the fam. This one might creep up on you. Creep? Creep up on us? What is this? What is this? The art style looks dope. Looks like a Nickelodeon cartoon. Whoa, son got choked. What is this? Tenchu? Mark of the Ninja remastered. Whoa. Play Entertainment's critically acclaimed stealth wow. platformer is back and slicker than ever. Mark of the Ninja remastered will show you what it truly son means. Son looks like Kratos. Ninja. Don't let this modern classic sneak no, by doesn't. when it launches but the on skin Nintendo does. Switch this fall. Mark of the Ninja remastered. That? No and gameplay? Speaking of sneaking in, should Whoa. probably introduce the crazy <laughs> uncle of our department and the head of indie relations. Uncle? Kirk Scott. <laughs> so, why don't you tell him a little bit about yourself? Thanks, Dana. No, come on, show us well, games. We got like 12 minutes, candlelight bro. candlelight lunches, short walks on the beach, and amazing independent games. Oh, that was uh, a tease. Let's just get to the next game. What was all In these? A world where fantasy meets martial arts, okay. anything can become a weapon. We got a fighting so game? This new fighting game. Fantasy Strike. This rule applies to the winds. Whoa! Shorty got a bow. Ghosts. Gambling. Paint. Okay, got a even time. It's Panda Bear. Whether you face the fight alone in local multiplayer or online, you can enjoy the nuanced mechanics of a deep fighter with simple oh. combos and easy to perform special moves, shifting the focus from memorization to pure strategy. What? Pass a single Joy-Con controller and duke it out anywhere when Fantasy, Fantasy Strike comes Strike. to Nintendo Switch this summer. Wow, that's a Ever unique a look of a fighting game? game. Musical Neither Blood and that's Blood where we're crazy about Berserk Studios' Just Shapes and Beats. A kinetic frenzy of deadly shapes set to rad beats from more than 20 chiptune artists. You can face the music solo or with up to three friends in local or online co-op. And this just in. There's also a full story mode you can take on alone full or with mode? your friends. Just see. Shapes and Beats launches first Just on Nintendo Switch Shapes this Shapes and summer. Beats. Nice. Well, this next full game story mode. will get your heart beating in a different I guess. way. Tiny Build Games is lifting the door on Garage, a top-down shooter inspired by the gloriously gory VHS era of B-movies. I'm talking stuff we can't even show you in this video. <laughs> As you saw the mystery of a gritty underworld. That's why it's rated. Oh, um, got the M. Tentatively living mutants. Along the way, you'll collect new weapons that can hopefully keep you alive long enough to see the light. 
Okay. Play Garage first on Nintendo Switch when it launches like a rocket this spring. Garage, okay. You know, that looks exactly like my garage. I could use a pool table, though. Luckily, I've got just what? the thing. Yo, these jokes Adult are falling swim games flax. And have joined flax. Forces I said to flax. A world flax. Where everything from jungles what the hell is this? A pool game? To cities is one giant cartoon game of pool. Of course, seeking the eight ball. This is, is the adult swing game. How will you fare as a clueless cue ball, fending off quirky characters like biker balls, ballerina balls, and more? Man, it's weird and crazy in a really, really fun way. There are more than 100 levels to conquer and local multiplayer for up to four players. Be this looks cool. It launches first as a system it looks... exclusive for the Nintendo Switch. Oh, player okay. Cheer. Exclusive. If you're like me, you like your that chicken served like, up nitrate um, golf free story, and your bomb cool. chicken served up by the good people at Nitro. They describe this beauty as a chicken platformer combining action, puzzles, this and arcade like goodness into one explosively fun game. Bomber man. Lay bombs to escape tricky situations, lay stacks to reach up high, and start a fire to discover secret areas, or just to watch the world burn. <laughs> Only you can discover the secret behind fast food giant BFC's signature blue hot fast food a giant bomb chicken launches bomb first chicken. On Switch this <laughs> That's a cool name, bomb chicken. I am extremely pumped Whoa! to announce Luminous Remastered, an <laughs> Luminous? HD remake of the critically acclaimed what? puzzle game from Enhanced Games, Why we led by Rez visionary switch? Tetsuya Mizuguchi. What? A bombastic harmony of light, sound, and intense puzzle Are we action. getting original this music? This game is unforgettable to play alone oh, is as it, it is with a friend and local multiplayer. Dig on them techno beats, which are being carefully designed to work with the HD rumble feature to highlight oh. not only the beats of the music, <laughs> yeah. but the actions you take during the That's game. a fire! Luminous Remastered drops into the Luminous e Remastered. I haven't seen Luminous since the PSP, PSP guys. Like, whoa! Luminous, Jesus! Of age. That, that was means you faced whoa. A that took me back just now. Series man. of requests from peasants, allies, and what the fuck is this? Your word may be law, but what happens when your choices wow. threaten the balance Luminous. between influential I'm, that's, factions? Luminous, that's a day one. Your buy. only option I'm is in. to outwit I'm and in. outlast those who would seek to overthrow you and your family in this compilation of reigns and reigns Her Majesty. For the first time, you can enjoy local co-op decision making exclusively local on Nintendo Switch. Local co-op decision making. Kings and Queens rises what? to power this spring. <laughs> the fuck is that? Local co-op decision making. What is that thing? It seems to react to the boy's presence. Who's that? Oh, Cel um, Cella Stella. Um, I always get Cella Stella and um, Celeste mixed up. Whoa, this game like won already awards? I was gonna say this is what, Celeste 2? Okay, this looks fire. Alright. What is this? Huh. When I'm done with Celeste, I'm, a, I'm I pick this up. You gotta get all them strawberries first. A light fall, okay. That looked it. That looked it pretty dope. It looked like it was already out on all the systems. Uh. The platforming adventure Lightfall will take you to the forgotten world of Numbra, where you'll uncover your mysterious past and hopefully save its inhabitants from imminent threat. Master your surroundings by manipulating the Shadow Core, a magical box used to propel yourself into the air and forge your own path. Bishop Games was kind enough to let us reveal a world debut. Oh no. Speedrun mode, which allows you to race mode. against your friends or even the fastest players in the world. Speedrun mode. Your skills and see how high you Nintendo can and speedrunning is like, they like trying to make that first on, on the Switch. Switch you gonna speedrun? You gonna speedrun on the Nintendo Switch. Okay, partner, giddy up, because I'm right behind you. With giddy up, game. bro. Pause. Ah, what's the <laughs> loathing from Asymmetric? There's nothing quite like a slapstick comedy, stick figure, Wild West RPG adventure, am I right? As you explore the sprawling open world as one of three characters. <laughs> this is, this is the Nintendo getting, getting Red Dead on the Switch. <laughs> Not to mention this is the how it would have to look. Gags and, mysteries to solve <laughs> and if you feel like it, there's optional turn-based combat, okay. more than 50 hats to collect, and liberal 50 use 50 hats to collect. Films. Laugh yourself to tears this spring when West of Loathing launches as a West system exclusive on Nintendo Loathing. Switch. Oh, it's a system exclusive. That's cool. Puda is a co-op exploration puzzle game from Henchman and Goon. 
It's about two unlikely travel companions going on an adventure within a mysterious mountain. Through their unique individual talents, they reveal a magical world within the mountain by working together. Okay. Huda is inspired by Norwegian art and culture, resulting in a stunning story environment. The this game works cool. well as a single player also, but it's nice to soak in the relaxing atmosphere with a friend or family member by playing with the two Joy-Con controllers included in a single system. We, we know. You can stop trying to sell us on the Nintendo Switch. On Nintendo <laughs> Switch this we know it comes with two, sis, um, so two controllers. Some of you may have been following a little game called The Messenger. And last you saw, Sabotage Whoa. hinted that there may be more to this platformer than old school 8-bit goodness. Well, the messenger hinges on an amazing feature. This the ability to transform from an 8-bit platformer into a gloriously rendered 16-bit time-traveling adventure. What? Drive to this cursed land as a young ninja on a mission to deliver a scroll that of paramount to dope. his plan survival. On your quest, you'll find upgrades, new abilities, hidden levels. It's like a Super a Nintendo game speed running opportunities. and a classic Nintendo game. Nintendo that is Switch this summer. That is fire. I like that. The developers of Plausible Concept and publisher Raw Fury are about to pitch you against a Viking horde. So arm your troops, shore up your defenses, protect this your citizens, crazy. inspire their loyalty, what? and you may live to see peace again. Inspire their In this real-time tactics roguelike game, each commander you lose is gone forever. Lose everything, and it's game over. Okay. See for yourself when Bad North launches first on Nintendo Bad Switch this North. summer. And they launch it first. Right, They're trying to get that Switch money. Finally, time for our last announcement of the day. Last one already. And it is with great pleasure Shovel that I Knight? confirm that Banner Saga 3 is headed to Nintendo Switch. Banner as Saga As the epic conclusion 3. to Stoic's award-winning trilogy of mature, story-driven role-playing games, players will need to brace <laughs> themselves for more tough battles, Difficult I'm not a huge fan of Banner losses. Saga, so that's... When Banner Saga 3 releases this summer on Come Nintendo on. Switch. This is it? This is the end? What really? What if you haven't played the first two games before? Mm. I can also confirm that Banner Saga 1 and 2 are coming soon to Nintendo Switch. <laughs> and your personal story, what? progress, and choices from the first two games will also carry over. That's so cool. So think strategically, otherwise you may be mourning a favorite character forever. <laughs> well, folks, that's a wrap. From all of us at Nintendo, we'd like to thank our Nindy partners for continuing. I mean, to I wasn't expecting like a Smash character, but I was expecting something that would make me Thanks go, yeah, watching, like hype. But besides Luminous, that was pretty much it. And that fighting game, that fighting game looks dope. And the pool, I mean, we got some pretty good games. We got some pretty whack games as well on this motherfucking list, like that chicken with the with the bombs. Skip for me. So it was it was a good little bunch. It was a good little bunch. It wasn't uh, you know I was I was kinda hoping for the world, but we didn't get that, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Cause we got Smash coming in 2018. You know, we got Mario Ace is still coming. So this is just like filler titles to fill up the catalog until those big catalog you know releases do pop out. And, you know, these are just going to be just to, I don't want to say digest, you know, little bite-sized games. But, yeah, you could say that. Because indie games nowadays, they've been holding the bar up there with these AAA releases. So, this one was kind of, hmm, it was okay. It was a lot of good things that I like. But, it was, I mean, I got to get my hands on stuff. A lot of stuff just didn't, they didn't show dates and they didn't announce demos. To me, that's the best way to pull me in. Announce a, a game that I don't know that looks weird as fuck, but then announce a demo so I could try it I think that's a great way to pull, you know, tons of people in and during a, you know, indies Quote-unquote direct you you need like stuff like that to kind of um, You know make, make it kind of juicy, but that's neither here or there. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you thought about this um, Nintendo's indie showcase I liked it. It's pretty cool, nice, short, digestible. I would hope for some big, you know, I don't want to say AAA, but bigger indie games we would have got updates on. We had nothing about Shovel Knight. We got nothing about um, a lot of stuff. Um, the new Shovel Knight update that's supposed to come out, I think this year, um, in the Amiibo pack and stuff like that, we still didn't get an update on that. So I would, I was for sure we thought we were gonna see it here but maybe not but let me know what you 
thought of this little weird 11 minute showcase i think i thought it was pretty cool it was a little digestible like i said um i'm daddy gamer fred on instagram and twitter like always guys you guys can bring the conversation there i'm the american gamer in switzerland right here on youtube and yes i'm gonna be doing a ton of these trailer reaction reviews the best way to catch them all is with a subscription so please hit that subscribe button also hit the like button because it does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned ring the bell if you want to be notified the next time i drop a video peace i'm gonna see you guys on the next trailer reaction review.